And now, during a pandemic, we have the revolutionary drive through not for COVID tests or McDonald's, but drive through Botox. drive through injections from the comfort of your own car? It's a thing. Just pull up and roll down your window. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I make commentary and lifestyle videos. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and turn on the notification button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I personally am not entirely against cosmetic surgery. It is your life and your body and people should learn to respect that and not shame others for their choices. However, that does not dismiss the fact that there are some critical points to the cosmetic surgery industry that I will be addressing in today's video. But before we get into the video, I wanna thank Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Nothing is more frustrating than having your food ready to eat and you just spend 20 minutes on Netflix trying to look for something that you haven't already watched or isn't boring. But when you use Atlas VPN, you can get access to so many options of movies that are shown in other countries. And it's not just for Netflix, this is for literally any streaming websites, such as Amazon Prime, Hulu, HBO, and so many more. A lot of us, like myself, really underestimate how important it is to have a VPN in today's world. I mean, if you're using public Wi-Fi, like in a cafe, it is not secure, and it's very easy for your device to get hacked. Atlas VPN helps to protect online privacy, and their goal is to make internet accessible and secure for everyone, with more than 4 million users worldwide. The other benefits include avoiding censorship when you're traveling abroad and decrease your security on public internet connections, and they help to block malicious third-party links and ads. Atlas VPN helps you get the best deals online for things like airplane tickets and hotels. Atlas VPN is currently running a huge discount on their three-year deal for just $1.39 per month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. This deal is not forever, so definitely consider clicking on the link down below before it's too late and you lose out on this amazing opportunity. Without further ado, let's dive into the interesting world of cosmetic surgeries. Plastic surgery uh, has two components, cosmetic and reconstructive. The reconstructive is usually taking birth defects, perhaps, or defects caused by accidents or cancer, and reconstructing them, taking abnormal back to normal. Cosmetic, though, is taking normal and making it better. And a common negative misconception people get about plastic surgery is that they think it literally means plastic and fake. But the word plastic actually derives from an ancient Greek term, plastikos, which means to mold or give form. Medical treatments for facial injuries go as far back as 4,000 years ago as documented in India and Egypt. My hand in my pocket, I could hide it from others, but of course I can't put my face in my pocket. Some of our patients have told us that they go out only at night simply because they don't want to be stared at. They don't want to answer questions from other people. Initially, the performance of surgeries were solely done for medical reasons to help individuals with physical abnormalities or deformities. 19th century American plastic surgeon John Orlando Rowe beautifully sums up the phenomenon. How much valuable talent had been buried from human eyes, lost to the world and society by reason of embarrassment, caused by the conscious or in some cases unconscious influence of some physical infirmity or deformity or unsightly blemish. But after after war and with the rise of consumer culture, I bought my tan in Spain. Ole. So worthy, so and capitalism, what was once confined and stigmatized for disfigurements soon became a beauty trend. How you feel is often how you wish to look, and women want to be made up because they know it makes them look beautiful. Without cosmetics, carefully chosen and skillfully applied, a woman simply is not well dressed. Is there something about your appearance that's always bothered you? Have you ever thought of what you might look like with the help of cosmetic surgery? Find out about what these techniques can do to enhance your appearance. Do you know anyone ugly who'd like to enjoy the beautiful drink? Would you like us to cosmetically transform their head? Call this number. You could look as good as Jonathan. The rise of cosmetic surgeries, particularly in the US, were also linked to racial discrimination, as US at the time had a growing population of Jewish and Irish immigrants and African Americans. Ethnic natural features, such as having a larger nose, were soon seen as flaws that needed to be fixed, which unsurprisingly led to the rise of cosmetic surgeries, such as rhinoplasties, for the aesthetic purposes to conform to the white beauty ideals. An inch off Cleopatra's nose might have changed the face of history and she faces life transform. Fast forward to today, the cosmetic surgery industry is a booming industry. Thank you, Dr. Pena. 
that's expected to reach 43.9 billion by 2025. There are two types of cosmetic procedures. Surgical procedures are invasive, basically ones that require cutting and entering a body part, including breast augmentation, liposuction, tummy tucks, eyelid surgery, and breast lifts. Non-invasive treatments include Botox, derma fillers, laser hair removal, chemical peels, skin resurfacing. Non-surgical treatments today are very innovative. You know, doing the shots and the Botox, it's less invasive. It's better than going under the knife. New faces without plastic surgery. It's not um, an invasive surgery. It's just Botox. <laughs> you can basically get a non-surgical rhinoplasty with injective fillers. A lot of celebrities can claim they've not gone under the knife, but that doesn't exclude the fact that they more than likely would have gone with non-surgical procedures such as Botox and fillers. The truth is there isn't a rational motive for undergoing cosmetic or plastic surgery. Some people genuinely need it for medical, psychological, and health reasons. There's gender affirming for transgender people. Some people have experienced trauma and bullying regarding their appearance. A lot of men also undergo cosmetic procedures. Let's establish the fact hair loss and anti-aging treatments, teeth whitening, chemical peels, laser hair removal, skin whitening, tanning are all cosmetic procedures too. Most of these cosmetic characteristics that an individual would choose to enhance on is more than likely done for the purpose of vanity. To put into perspective, teeth whitening isn't necessary. It doesn't affect how you chew or eat. You don't need to do it, but you do it because it helps you look and feel good. You are conforming to a beauty standard. Yet ironically, people are quite quick to judge, assuming that anyone who undergoes cosmetic surgeries are extremely insecure, self-obsessed, and shallow, even though the vanity motive is the exact same as those other cosmetic procedures. It is literally in our human nature to want to fit in, to feel a sense of belonging. The need for acceptance is a basic human instinct. For certain countries, it's a cultural norm to get plastic surgery. It's easy. Your friend's doing it. Your daughter wants to do it. Somebody else is doing it. Somebody's talking to you about it. Go on, do it. You do it. If you're in a circle of women that, you know, you're all sort of contemporaries and you're the only one and you haven't had anything done and all your girlfriends have colored the gray in their hair and are having Botox done, you're going to start feeling like the older sister. And that's what I mean about the peer pressure, it's unavoidable. How many people do you know who've had plastic surgery? Uma amiga minha, minha vizinha, minha prima, uma outra prima minha, minha tia. And over the years, we've seen cosmetic surgeries being destigmatized, which has its pros and cons. How many nose jobs have you had? Uh. There? More people are able to be transparent about what they've had done instead of lying and claiming that it's all natural. I didn't do it for anyone else. I didn't do it to yeah. put, put everything out there and flaunt it. I did yeah. it for my mental health yeah. and for my well-being yeah. and for my no everyday problems. life and the 21st century and Let women are allowed me. to do whatever they want to do with their bodies and they shouldn't be ashamed of it. Yeah. In South Korea, parents invest in their kids' appearance with cosmetic surgeries the same way they do with education. It's common for parents to gift their children plastic surgery as a graduation gift. Korean teenagers as young as 14 are often gifted eyelid surgery. So for countries like Brazil and South Korea where plastic surgery is such a big thing, it would only make sense that those who live in that country would feel pressured by the media and their peers to get cosmetic surgery in order to fit in. Quite often, the pressure literally comes from your own parents. Even she's keen for her daughter to have the operation. O seu perfil é todo, mas você está com esse problema estético. Porque a mulher ela tem que estar bem apresentada para atender. A perfect example of this is Khloe Kardashian. Khloe has always openly talked about being bullied her whole life. She's even been labeled the ugly duckling out of the whole family. Her own family has pressured her to lose weight because she's hurting the brand image. She mentions that around the age of nine, she overheard her mother telling her friend that Khloe needed a nose job at the age of nine. Khloe says she was so shocked because at that age, as a nine-year-old should, she had never even thought about about getting a nose surgery. During this interview, she says she's grown into her face and she's glad she's never gotten a nose job, even though she's had several makeup artists tell her to get a nose job. This interview was in 2013, and things have changed a lot since, literally. That many have accused her of undergoing even more procedures to her already enhanced image. And she unveiled her new face yet again. People are mad. They can't recognize her and claim that every new photo or video shows Chloe's face changing dramatically. 
right. This crazy phenomenon that's happening out there. Very dramatic appearance. Khloe Kardashian now has become notorious for having a new face every week. So personally, what I find really infuriating is that people tend to forget that there are so many factors that come into play when someone like Khloe Kardashian undergoes cosmetic surgery. Realistically, if you were to put yourself in their shoes and you were born into the Kardashian family and you grew up in LA and your mother starts a TV show, so your brand image becomes your whole career and everyone around you, including your siblings, your parents, your neighbors are getting cosmetic surgery and you're also being bullied by the media, the public and your own family. What are the chances that you are going to end up getting cosmetic procedures? and find out about the latest in cosmetic surgical procedures. But he took away the lines of my neck are gone. Those terrible, horrible lines every woman sees. This is all pulled up. Those terrible veins are gone. And the eyes, I don't want to know. Just do it, Dr. Hofflin, you know, and leave me alone. The joke is that when I look in the mirror, I say to myself, oh, I look 20 years old. And the bad news is Melissa's always behind me. But anyhow, <laughs> we'll be right back because I'm not the only celebrity. Thank God every celebrity now is coming out and talking about it. A lot of us, at least. And we're back with a celebrity who had hers cosmetic surgery and so stay with us okay? okay 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 do you guys remember when people were spending above two hundred dollars for a product that i don't think actually served a real purpose or the time when everyone was buying thousands of other spinners because it was trendy and everyone else also bought fidget spinners. Remember the hype and now no one remembers it? Well, that's exact same thing with beauty trends, except it's altering your natural self. When Kylie Jenner got her lip injections, she really was the trendsetter for big lips. Kylie recently debuted what's being called a shocking new face, complete with what some speculate are surgically enhanced lips. Kylie's new look is now the inspiration for the hashtag Kylie Jenner lip challenge. It's the latest phenomenon sweeping social media, teens using shot glasses and bottles as suction devices for <gasps> do-it-yourself lip enhancement. <laughs> Believe it or not, there was even a time where small breasts were in and bigger breasts were actually seen as sinful. Trends come and go and they never last. That means 10 years from now, thin lips might just be in or completely shaved eyebrows. You will never fit into the beauty standard. And the thing about beauty trends is it's more than just the cost of it. A lot of these beauty trends put yourself at risk and sometimes irreversible damage. I personally feel that undergoing cosmetic surgery should be the last resort. But because of the rising popularity of cosmetic procedures advertised everywhere and on social media, it's much easier for people to feel pressured, undergo these cosmetic procedures on a whim. You know when you're trying to take the perfect selfie? So you pucker up and get ready to pout. Then you notice your lips just aren't full enough. <sighs> well, that problem's over. With lip fillers, cosmetic surgeons have gained major popularity on top social media platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok, giving everyone an easy access to real-time operating surgeries, before and after pictures. There are even popular trends and hashtags like hashtag plastic surgery and hashtag nose job check. A media company insider did a test where they made a new account on TikTok and set the age to 14 and it only took them eight minutes until a plastic surgeon's video was promoted. And most of us know that the majority of the TikTok users are indeed children and teenagers. It's also become common for cosmetic surgeons to offer free or discounted procedures for influencers in return for a promo on their social media. Lots of people, instead of hiding it like they would, you know, a few years ago, most people are more so flaunting it, either to get, you know, discounted rates, do, do collaborations with different cosmetic surgeons and stuff like that. Kate gets free treatments in return for endorsements on social media. We sat to the clinic. They reached out to me before I left and they was like to me, oh, we didn't know that you was an influencer. We didn't know that you was a YouTuber. They didn't allow me to pay for anything. A social media influencer who has spent four years thinking about getting the BBL admitted that the influence of social media was her final straw to finally undergo the plastic surgery. I had a patient come in and ask me for more of an anime eye and she couldn't figure out why it's not possible. To have her eyes made like 
roughly three times larger than what she already had or what she currently had. Years ago, people might have brought in the picture of a magazine cover supermodel. Now they're bringing in a picture of themselves, but just in a slightly optimized way where Facetune or a Snapchat filter will give them. I might as well get the real surgery to become the image that I really want. With social media and so many advanced apps, photo manipulation has never been easier. It's become so hard to differentiate the difference between what's real and what's not on social media. But a lot of these features, such as airbrushing, can actually be really damaging. I mean, we've gotten to the point where people are literally airbrushing fingers. Sometimes I'll scroll down my Instagram and literally be like, this is why I hate the way I look. And a lot of these people on social media, especially the Instagram influencers, don't even look like themselves. So when a lot of these celebrities and influencers get exposed with their unedited version, it's just, it's really refreshing to see. And I think an interesting point to realize is that most of these people are literally literally the beauty ideals, yet they're often caught editing photos of themselves on social media. You really can never be enough when it comes to external beauty. If I won the lottery, I would go and get every inch of my body nicked, tipped and tucked. I want to look like a glamour model on Instagram, and that's me being real. I think with the popularity and normalization of cosmetic surgeries, one of the biggest cons is the impression it gives to people and especially younger kids that this is the only way you will feel better and confident about yourself. And it's more concerning for children and teenagers who are not fully developed and still developing and figuring themselves out. Almost all plastic surgeons will tell you that they are seeing patients coming younger. I left them when I was 18. I'm Zoe. I had laser resurfacing and removal of stretch marks on my butt when I was 15. I'm Fatima and I had a retinoplasty at the age of 18. There's no minimum age limit for when you can get fillers in the UK. Because as we know, I have got my lips done. I've gotten plastic surgery. When you have something about yourself that you don't like, it's like, why not fix it? Kylie Jenner has gotten a lot of lip injections. She got them done at a young age, so why can't I? Knowing that a lot of celebrities have had plastic surgery, it just made me feel like what I was doing wasn't like bad or wasn't wrong. Look at that. I don't think honestly that's we a, need much more. That's enough. I just get like a tiny bit more. No. It's fallen right now, Mom. It's gonna go down. It's gonna look normal. That's not, is that even half? No, it's not even half. It's not even half, Mom. We'll put a little, I promise you I won't do anything crazy. I did Ooh. not even tell my husband. You could have always came back. I mean, it's not necessary. I like that. I would recommend it to anyone that wants to change their lips. I don't think there's anything wrong with Yeah, if you want to change something about yourself, go ahead and do it. Um, as long as you don't look like a botched mess. We booked appointments to get lip filler. Why are you getting Botox at 15 years old? I would hear my mom's dermatologist say, you need to start it young. I would a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my bag's done twice. I'd scared because I've, I've been booked in twice to have it done. And then yeah. I just got scared. Of what I can't. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> when will you be ready to get old? I hope never. I don't think we have to. That's wonderful. I don't have to ever, ever, ever get old and I don't wish to and I'm not going to. Aside, she's just 19 in a couple of years. I really wish she liked the nose that she has because I think it's perfect and she's beautiful. There's no need for any alteration there. Um, I'm going to mail these to you, okay? I'm going to have you put your email in and... I want the Kurt, the hourglass figure, the, the Kardashian figure. I want the big bum. I want, I want the boobs. If I had that, it's clothing brands. It's, it's gym brands that want to collab with you. It's, it's a financial pathway. But as more British surgeons refuse to carry out some of the riskier cosmetic procedures that have become popular via social media, Foreign companies are offering low-cost operations on Instagram. It doesn't matter how rich you are or if you have millions of dollars and have the best plastic surgeon, there's always going to be that risk. We know here in the States, in the hands of reputable people, there have been deaths. As somebody who's been doing plastic surgery now for over 35 years, you know, I question whether we should be you know, taking these larger volumes of fat and putting them into the backside of women because it's potentially a life-threatening situation. How is it going to look 10, 20, or 30 years later? How is that going to look when the skin starts to sag above it? And maybe initially for the first few months it looks good, but as time goes on it starts to lump and get hard. So when you're undergoing a cosmetic surgery for aesthetic reasons, you're putting your life at risk for a non-medical reason. She went in for a routine cosmetic surgery, but a Thornton teenager suffered irreversible brain damage during the procedure. There can be things like blindness, uh, loss of skin, 
skin. Left untreated, that leads to necrosis, which is the death of the soft tissue on your lip. That's irreversible damage. But in an industry which is currently unregulated, what can be done to protect patients and avoid mistakes happening? I once got plastic surgery and I totally regret it. I literally hate it so much and I want to cry and I want to hide no, in a hole. Because I hate it so much and I want to cry again. Okay. So it's not ugly. Your nose was never ugly to begin with, so how could you make it more ugly? I think it's a complex thing that 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 Eu botei uma prótese. Next week I'm going to get my boobs done again. <laughs> <laughs> Marked Pixie in advance of the rib reduction. He said removing the six ribs would not pose a health risk. I love what I'm doing. And as long as I love it and I can do it, why shouldn't I? I've spent over a million dollars to transform my body into plastic perfection. I mean, one of my nose jobs, I paid 25,000 pounds and, uh, and the results wasn't very pleasing. I wasn't happy with my breathing at all. There's an article I read about a woman who was a lifestyle journalist and she opened up about how she developed an unhealthy addiction to lip fillers and Botox, which all began when she was getting clinic freebies because of her journalist work. And these cosmetic procedures gave her a hit of endorphins and boosted her confidence at the time but soon after she was no longer getting free treatments she began paying for these procedures herself even though it was something she admit she couldn't really afford she sacrificed her money for this decision because it got to the point where she couldn't imagine herself not getting her regular fillers and she didn't want to have to accept her natural self in the mirror even though before she ever tried lip fillers she was perfectly happy with her natural lips as i got old i just noticed things that not needed fixing but just needed to be maintained so i kind of started to like progress and getting a few more things and then do more things, you find out about more things, and then it's just like a snowball effect from there, yeah. The demand for cosmetic surgery is high, which makes sense to why the operations have resumed in places like LA, despite the rising COVID cases. I mean, there are literally drive-throughs for Botox now during a pandemic. <music> And there's a new term called Zoom dysmorphia, which has led to the rise of cosmetic surgeries during the pandemic. People are becoming more self-conscious about themselves now that they've had to deal with their appearance in front of a camera. A, a well-known celebrity plastic surgeon had actually passed away recently from COVID because one of his patients was getting her lips done and she apparently did not get a COVID test beforehand. And that led to the death of the plastic surgeon. Even with all the risks and the cost of cosmetic surgeries, people are still willing to do what it takes to undergo these cosmetic surgeries, it's slowly transitioning into a necessity. Vejo que parcela uma televisão, uma geladeira em 12, vejo por que não investir em um sonho, né? Parcela um sonho. There was a comment I read on a YouTube video, having deformities is not the same as disliking your nose, followed by a comment that said, when you dislike it so much, it feels like a deformity. Do you feel like you do all the right things but still can't achieve your body goals? The award-winning team at Hunter Plastic Surgery could have the answer. Society creates a unrealistic beauty standard which generates body dissatisfaction and then provides surgery as a solution to the cultural problem. BDD is a psychiatric condition that makes it impossible to see oneself as others do. This unrealistic view causes BDD sufferers to undergo multiple plastic surgeries in a misguided attempt to correct a defect, one that wasn't there to begin with. Cosmetic, though, is taking normal and making it better. Surgeons like us only do cosmetic surgery. And that is one of the things that concern me with cosmetic surgeries is the notion for some that they will only feel happier and confident with themselves after they get cosmetic surgery. I went in there with just wanting a nose job and my lips done and he made me feel like my entire face was messed up. I left in tears because I thought I am so hideous. I almost feel like I'm bad for not looking hotter. And that's not something I'm used to as a man, to see a, a, a perfect face next to my own face and feel like I'm, I'm like letting the world down for not being hot enough. And I imagine that that is an experience that women must have all the time. I don't want to look at the other Zach anymore. I'd prefer to look at this Zach. Oh well. I think my nose is very big and I want to reduce him a little bit. Make him more fine. People comment, like, making jokes when I'm not 
Diana hates her nose so much she's even photoshopped every picture of herself in the house. Eventually, she changed her mind and she found herself standing at the side of my cot looking down at this and she rejected me. She decided then and there that she couldn't connect with this face. She didn't want to own it. She didn't want to own me. So she went back to the mother's ward and a week later she went home and I stayed in hospital. You know, some of us don't even get an opportunity to age. I'm just now actually starting to feel physically beautiful. My face needs to be able to tell the truth. And if I do something that stops it from telling the truth, then it's not healthy for me. Before I worked on this video, for so long, I was so certain that I wanted to get cosmetic surgery. Ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to get rhinoplasty, and that was because of remarks that were made about my nose. The other cosmetic surgery I really wanted was for my acne scars. And when I look at my acne scars, it does remind me of a bad time of my life where acne, you know, made me so, so insecure. And the other one that I've been so fixated on is gynecomastia surgery, which is male breast reduction, which I have have and it that itself has made me so insecure for such a long time so personally speaking I can say that the cosmetic surgeries that I want to get done aren't necessarily needed but I, I it comes from a place of in insecurity and if it weren't for the beauty standard I honestly would not care at all I would I spent about two weeks straight working on this video every day and the more I research into this topic and realize how messed up it is and how so many people feel the same and insecure it made me realize that embracing our natural selves truly is an act of rebellion in a society that profits off our insecurities. And it's so much easier said than done. It's so cliche, but I am meant to look like no one else but myself. You know what? I love myself. Even though I look like a burnt chicken nugget, I still love myself. And my natural self maybe is really enough. Like, ugh. That's just so cliche to say. Anyways, point is, we really we really should learn to embrace ourselves and realize that there's so much diverse beauty, beautiful, natural, ethnic features that we need to embrace before we conclude that cosmetic surgery will be the only way to feel better about ourselves. Anyways, I need to stop rambling. I really, really hope this video helped some of you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification button for my channel if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos. It's a pretty controversial topic so I would love to hear your opinion in the comment section down below. I'm not too sure if this video is going to be demonetized because I feel like it's a pretty sensitive topic so if you do want to support my channel there will also be a link down below. Please 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 do share this video with your friends and on social media I really do appreciate it. Anyways I will see you guys next time.